All right guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching The Engineer Boy. Okay, so in this video, we will be working with the line functionality, okay? I'll be using AutoCAD 2014. You can use any version, does not matter, okay? All right, so you can access this functionality from different locations. Like you can type LND command bar to activate this functionality. You can also just look at over here to the draw panel and there we have the line you can also just click this drop down okay the draw drop down and you can click this line to activate this functionality all right i'm happy with the command bar so i'm going to type ld command bar you can also do unit setup before that okay by just typing ld command bar okay you can just type ld command bar and then press enter so a drawing unit setup dialog box will appear okay you can change different things over here, but is this is just um, beginning of an AutoCAD, so I'm not working with this guy, okay? For this, I'll make another separate video. So for this time, let's let this guy is decimal and the precision everything just by default, okay? All right, now I'll just type L in the command bar. We will use different methods to draw a line, okay? Just keep watching the video, all right? So you can type L in the command bar and then press enter. Now, if you don't know what to do, just look at the command bar, okay? Articulate is just uh, telling that specify first point location or the first point, okay? So I'm going to click here in the working area. Now, you can also specify the next point, just by clicking in the working area next point next point and so on you can do that okay now in case if you just clicked on the wrong location you can undo that by u space as you can see it is just undoing okay that last section so that is called u space okay and you can also close that just by clicking here or you can just type c in the command bar and then press enter our space as you can see that's just closed now okay so this is one thing you can it's it's so nice okay just let's start it again l space in the command bar click 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 and, and so on okay now if you are happy till this point you can just uh, press the escape key from your keyboard and just to uh, run out of the command okay that's so simple now the problem we have if you just type l space in the command bar and specify the first point location now i don't know uh, how much should be the length of this line okay let's try uh, 100 okay and space wow that's been drawn okay space again to end the command okay i'm just going to delete these guys by selecting them and e space okay so we can have much rooms okay now this is the line okay as you can see the line was like that you can just zoom extend or zoom them all like z space and a space to see the line okay in the working area that's pretty awesome now this line is 100 units you can just check the dimensions by di space click the start and end of the line as you can see that's where is it where, where i mean i just let me do it okay the distance is 100 units okay you can just check there you can also check this by uh, checking the dimensions okay the align one because this is making an angle so we're going to use a line functionality as you can see this is 100 okay now next the problem is what that 100 is like is that meter or centimeter anything else okay so again i'm jumping into the unit setup u in space and as you can see in the insertion scales we have inches so that means 100 inches okay so simple okay let's try again i'm going to type l space click here and let's say 10 space now 10 means 10 inches because in the unit setup dialog box, we have insertion scale is inches, okay? Now, if I switch this into miles, 
when click OK, the scale does not change the, as you can see, this does not scale, okay? But still, this is 10 units and that 10 is now 10 miles, okay? Not 10 inches. So, let's, let's check that, okay? Align, click here, here. That is 10, but 10 miles, okay? Not 10 inches. How I may confirm that? is by typing u and in the command bar and as you can see the insertion scale is now miles so simple okay you, we, we will we will work with these guys okay with the length type and precision but this time let's let them okay as it is okay now let's let's go ahead okay again l space in the command bar you can also specify the start uh, point by coordinates like let's try 10 and then comma 10 coordinates okay the line has been started as you can see okay from the x and y okay the northing and easting you can say x y those were 10 10 now let, let's say the next point is going to be 20 and then comma 20 okay space that's been drawn you can do okay this is continuous but but i'm just going to press escape to end the command as you can see this line has been drawn now in order to, to check the coordinates okay the x and y you can just type um id in the command bar press enter and check this point okay i'm going to click at the start as you can see the x and y are 10 10 okay again space to uh, just activate the id functionality and click there as you can see that is x and y are 30 30 okay pretty awesome you can do that okay all right next let's go ahead okay 20 30 anything okay and, and that's actually let me just control z date okay i mean undo that okay that's actually as you can see this is our origin okay so 10 10 means we have drawn this from this location okay like let me just do that roughly okay let me do that roughly okay the the start of this uh, line is actually 10 miles okay away from the origin okay in the x direction and 10 miles away from the origin in the y direction because we have miles over here let me change that into inches okay all right just deleting this line you can also draw this line you can i mean give any angle to the line like let's say l space and i'm going to click here now i don't know what the angle is okay so you can just uh, press shift and hold it okay and then the less sign okay i mean shift less than and then let's say 35 degree is going to be the angle of the line press space and as you can see this line is now just um, leading okay um, at angle 35 degrees okay you can give any length now let's say the length is going to be 80 units okay press enter the line is been drawn you can check the angle okay this link angle is actually with the, the horizontal line this is going to be 35 units you can go to the dimensions and then check actually let's say angular click this guy this one and as you can see this is 35 degrees okay this is actually with east and this is because if you type u in, in the command bar and look at the directions as you can see we have east is the direction so that line is being drawn is making and is making this angle okay 35 degrees with east actually okay now if you change that with north okay then the line will make an angle with north here like if this is the north okay let's try okay just let's try let's say this is our reference okay and i'm going to try l space okay Arto on off you can do that by f8 as you can see this line is now moving in and in, in, in i mean in any in, in angle okay and if you press f8 
this is now going only with 90 90 okay 90 degrees okay again f8 as you can see that's moving now in any angle now shift less than okay and now let's in angle of 30 degrees and press enter okay now 30 degrees uh let's change it into north first yeah that's north okay and l space shift less than 30 degrees now that is with north okay and uh, you can do that clockwise anti clockwise from the same dialog box let's check this if this is 30 with north or not yeah that's 30 with north you can change the direction okay uh, as you can see clockwise anti clock that time that was just any clock okay if i just undo that by control z that is just anti clock okay this is north and in angle is anti clock if you make okay let's do that clockwise and again that north and now l space again shift less than and 30 degrees now make sure it is in the first quadrant okay and that is again 30 degrees pretty nice i'm happy with that okay again next let's move ahead you can just type l in the command bar you can just click here and let's just f8 to uh, you know, make that horizontal or vertical okay now uh, i want this um uh, the, the line length is going to be let's say six units or six inches and in this direction 12 inches again six inches 12 inches six inches okay and this time 12 inches and let's end it and select date all co space you can take copies okay different copies and i'm happy there you can that means you can draw uh, six inches let's make that 48 and six inches and 36 and close there so this is now a section okay okay so this this is how you work with lines okay you can also change the properties of line like if you draw the line okay here and uh, let me just ortho off and uh, let's say this is the line you can if you click this line i mean select and control one okay you press control one from the keyboard and as you can see this dialog box appear which is actually the properties dialog box of this line here you can do much things like you can change the line color the layer the line type here we have different types of lines okay the line type scale anything okay the line width okay like let's say if you want the line to be little bit thick you can then uh, just click this one to see the results okay the line width as you can see okay i'm happy with date by layer and you can change many things okay the thickness let's try this guy okay let's say five units thickness that's been applied but we can't see here so you have to switch to the other uh, i mean uh, view like south uh, west okay i mean into the isometric or any other view okay you can also just rotate that with 3d orbit space as you can see this line has thickness okay and from here as you can see this is studio wireframe if you make that conceptual so we can see that is a plane okay okay let's just again change this line thickness into zero so as you can see now this line uh, does not have any thickness okay you can also change the x y z the length of the line from here okay the angle of the line okay you can do calculation if you want here we have the calculator so this is how you work with line okay let me go ahead and okay you can also do 
like uh, let's say if we have line L space in the command bar and if you want the line to be in the other units like architecture etc okay so you have to change the unit data from here into the architecture and normally the precision equals 1 over 8 inches like it I mean the precision is going to be up to 8 suitors okay 1 inch carries 8 suitors so this is going to convert 1 inch into suitors okay you can also change the insertion scale here like inches by default that's okay like if you see if I draw a line equals 12 that means 12 inches okay press enter so this is now 12 inches even if we have architectural type okay because let, let's just check that okay by a line as you can see this is going to be 12 inches okay now if you want this line to be 12 feet you're gonna do then something else like L space I'm going to change the color into yellow let's say L space click here and let's say 12 but this time let's do let's provide some parentheses okay the parentheses like dead per feet okay so 12 feet space now that line is little bit lengthy from the previous one if you check that this is going to be uh, 12 12 one four four inches okay you can also if, if you want this display here I mean 12 inches display you can type D space in the command bar and change that from the modify and primary units and again here architectural and this one over 8 to see the result over here as you can see this is 12 feet now okay now if you want the line to be drawn like uh, 12 feet and uh, 3 inches so you have to do that like 12 in that parentheses are feet and then let's say 3 inches so you have to type 3 only okay that means 12 feet and 3 inches press enter our space and let's check this again okay this guy okay from the a line and here here let's see that that is 12 feet and 3 inches pretty awesome okay so this is how you can draw a line if you have any question let me know in the comment bar and see you in the next video on the engineer boy